All right there guys, just uh, in Tonga at the moment, we've uh, made it and I'm just driving uh, a van at the moment. Uh, David's wife Offa has uh, uh, let me, uh, let us have the vehicle. Here's my lovely wife, Sihat. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna go get some little sippy from somewhere. So I don't know where we're gonna get the little sippy from. And uh, we'll see uh, where there was the cops just at the back there. Saw me with the phone recording. And uh, yeah, no. and we're just spotting all sorts of things. So as soon as we hopped out of the airport, uh, the Emerald bus guy came and picked us up. And um, he knew my name, knew my last name, knew mum knew my dad uh knew my family so that was good and, and the history behind the lola manayas so that was good and then uh that was a surprise actually that he knew so much um and then we got to the emeralds rang offer about the vehicle got that now we're on our we just uh stopped at a, a place where you can get tongan cakes it's like four tongan cakes for one dollar so we got 16 four dollars worth and a coke so just to top us just to get something in our stomach before we go get some loose cp uh we're going to new la to get that and then as we're driving janice was just driving past she said money and then yeah and then so she <laughs> turned around and uh yeah parked up and said hello and they're going to come and see us later on at the emerald um but yeah it's a uh, small small world here and uh, everyone knows everyone and it's just amazing who you uh, who you meet. So uh, been blessed so far, been good, and uh, hopefully this is uh, we'll just spend probably today, tomorrow here, and then Friday we're gonna try and make it out to Ewa. So God bless you everyone, and uh, this is a bit of an update. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, turn the camera. So there's a massive queue every way. Uh, school kids all over the place. Um, they've just finished sports day. And yeah, so it's uh, been good. All right, guys, God bless. We'll leave it out for now. See ya. So I've just tasted the little CP. Mm, the best. Man, unbelievable brings back memories and nothing like it overseas there. Eh? Welcome back to Tonga. Welcome back to Tonga. Yum. Yum as. Hi right, guys. This is our room. And it's got aircon. TV. And they gave us the only room with the massive balcony. So that's nice. So yeah. Um, so that's been a blessing. They offered us this room. So that's good. <coughs> anyway, God bless you all. Peace for now. Just gonna check out that pork ball. I know it tastes way better here. Breakfast this morning. We need a lot of coffee. Lot Raining coffee. outside. Started to drizzle last night. The bus stop over here. All through that way. Yeah. yeah. This is a uh, Lucy P. Lucy P. A raw fish. Kentucky. And um, Otai. So that's V, V Otai, all for, I think they're $10 for the manioke and lu. And it's around about $36 Tongan, so what, maybe, maybe just under $30 Australian, something like that. Beautiful. Is yeah, this is what you're waiting for? Mm. <laughs> and this is uh, Nuare, Nuare. We had to drive a fair distance for this place, but 
everyone said guaranteed it'll be open and they'll have it. Mm. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that blue cage with the forklift to go on because that's where my fishing rods are. So hopefully that'll get on. There's only 150 passengers that are allowed to get on. And I believe there's like two or three boats going today, so it'll go three times today. Uh, due to it getting busy, definitely this afternoon, because all the sports finish. Alright guys. Yep, that's coming on for sure. Alright, so this is what you expect. I don't know what's going on with that boat. It's not going for some reason. But yeah, so it's been raining as well. So there's a bit of mud down there on the wharf, puddles and whatnot. Yeah. Anyway, that's us. Here will we come. Just getting off of the wharf. We made it, we made it. <laughs> <Didn't he? laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Lava mash. Hi guys, finally got, got here to home. Mum's making us breakfast, some toast, bacon and eggs. Bacon! <laughs> yes, you can buy bacon in now. Ah, uh, man, it's so awesome. Finally home. Yeah. Man, front yard, truck, gotta get that one going, probably gotta get that going too. Awesome. Oh, and I gotta get the eggs. Yeah, I'm going to get the eggs. Hi guys, come on. Hey. Wow. Oh, maybe 10 or so. Because yeah. there's a lot of chickens. Yeah. I had to get my boots on to go and get the eggs. Really? Yeah? Okay. Are you the one with the sore foot? you got to flip them over. Oh, what about that door? Will they go through there? Yeah, they're not just yet. They'll be left. Um, okay, they like the Uto? Mm. Yes. They love the Uto. It's nice and soft for them. Mm. No, it's the chicken's dinner time. <laughs> well, that's all I can think of. Is it, it is their dinner time, eh? Yeah. 
As you can see, my husband is cutting the the coconut for the chickens. I'll show you one with the uto in it. Um, see, like these have these seeds here, and it grows into this yellow, yummy part. And then there's mum collecting the eggs. How many eggs were there? Six today. Mm. And the gummies. More than yesterday. <laughs> Gumbo. Absolutely essential. Okay, I'll show you. And they call it here, it's called Uto. Beautiful, it's yummy. See, look at them. This one's yucky, sweetheart. Oh, okay. Yeah. This one's bala. Overripe. We've got chickens eating everything. Whoop. And it's raining. I don't know how many there are, but there's enough. See here, I'll show you. This is what it looks like. Yeah, like that a membrane. Part. Mm, that's a nice one. Yeah? I like it. Mm. Oh. Mm. You want that one? Yeah. I'm turn it off now. <laughs> so we got to eat some uto. So there, friends and family. Just along the... Where all the grave sites were. So there's some that are remaining. All the houses in the front, gone. Everything. And you're standing on your father's grave. Yeah, yeah. and dad's still gear. We just sort of like cleaned it up a bit because it's like, see how the, all that is around vegetation. Graves broken up. All of that, graves are all in the middle there. All gone. I feel sorry for all those people that, yeah, anyway. Slab sticking out of the slabs gone. People just washed out. We we're very lucky that. Um, so we just cleaned this up a bit. We'll come back in uh, one day and just do it properly. But just for now, just so we know, and mark this grave with the T on top. For Dogia, the only. The only dog here. <laughs> anyway, love you people. Love you guys. Family. Bye. Just in here in Haluma. Very damn good. Church have sometimes on public holidays. They'll have a picnic at the beach. I don't, I'm, I'm not really a beach. I'm yeah. Oh, I love the public. Yeah. Yes, I love this beach. No one on here at all. Beautiful. Hey guys, just at a cafe escape. Uh, the only cafe that's pretty much got aircon. Um, so I'll just give you a bit of a. There's the front. Yeah. But yeah. That's a cafe, so you guys know there is a cafe that does have aircon and is it's not too bad. <coughs> but, uh, there's other cafes as well, like uh, Friends Cafe, the cafe down a little bit further. Is it, the food's probably a little bit, little bit uh, better. It's just, uh, I think it's just over COVID, they've lost customers and whatnot. But um, yeah, uh, hopefully it gets better uh, in time. All right, guys. It's uh, cafes in Toma. Yeah. This ain't New Dolwa. There's some steps. I just parked the car there. And, um, yeah. weather out there for a boat to go in. We have to go in between here to, to go to Air One out that way. So the sea is pretty bad. But uh, it's not too bad. 
Hi guys, my grandfather's town, there we just, and he's got a piece of property up here, bushland and, and town land, it's up that way, not far actually, walking distance, there's a gravesite here, we just parked next to, oh yeah, oh that's awesome. Uh, bye. Just chilling with these chickens. Hit them out, have some coconut. And then I'll put a fire on. It's been a lot of rubbish. And yeah, so hopefully, and they're all over. Oh no, I did some washing, but you can't see. But yeah. There as well, and I'm going to tidy that up over there. <sighs> Ten should come, um, maybe sometime this week from Tonga. So I'll double check with them as well. Which, what day it's coming on the boat? Alright, then, guys, bye. Hey there, guys. It's uh, our sunset. It's not bad. But um, it was a lot better before I got to it till late. i just seen it now. It's actually pretty good, man. Nice colours in there. Alright, guys. Bye. Hey there, guys. Just uh, on the wharf. Grabbing some wire, fencing wire. And some diving masks and, and a drill that BA and Janice sent over, so that's great. Got that all sorted. Here's this side of it, of the wharf. Man, it is a beautiful day today. So I'm just waiting for my wire to come off the wharf. But yeah. This is what I love to see. Oh, that water's so clear. Beautiful. All right, guys. Hopefully, you have a good uh, week or good day. And uh, God bless. Thank you. Bye. Hey there, guys. It's Bonnie, Damon, on the off grid uh, in Ewa, in the Pacific. So, just here, having a day off today of working. We just decided to chill. I thought I might go for a dive with one of my friends later on, waiting for the tide to go out. Looks a bit rough. So yeah, I'm not too sure about that. So we'll see, see what happens later this afternoon. I'm gonna wait till the tide goes out. It's on its way out now. It's pretty high actually at the moment, but you can see where it has been. So it's slowly going out and yeah, so this is pretty much what we do on our days off, just to enjoy the weather, uh, paradise, and uh, just chill. We've just been to the shops and uh, bought a few things. Um, but yeah, uh, when I saw one of my uncles, they were cutting up a pig uh, for some workers of theirs, so they are putting on a roof. So they offered me some of the pig while I was having a yarn with him. It was Devita, Kuiwai and uh, his son Manu. So it was good to see them and have a bit of a yarn with them. Uh, especially D, I have good conversations with him all the time. And uh, yeah, enjoy that, enjoy those moments. And Wifey's on the phone in the car with the kids. So yeah. And I'm just gonna enjoy this and then wait for the tide to go out and then probably have a swim later on. So that's, uh, that for today, just a bit of a short one, a bit of an update, small update on what we're doing today. And it is uh, Friday, I had to look at my watch to see what day it is today, so that's how uh, 
the only day that I really know what day it is over here is Sunday. Uh, it's just because everyone goes to church and does nothing. And uh, yeah, we go to church too. So that's Friday. It's the 12th. 12th today. Oh, we're going to get our tin tomorrow also. Whoa, the water's coming up. So the, we're going to get some tin tomorrow for the roof. i to put the new roof on. That's going to be interesting. Uh, I'll probably start that on Monday. Put the new roof on a Monday. Yeah. But anyway, hey right, guys. Peace for now. See ya. Alrighty. Progress. It's been about an hour. Taken or oh, hour and a half. Taking a few tins off. Putting that one on. Just just leveled that up. By sight really. So that's what it's gonna look like. Two sheets. So it should be good. Hopefully it doesn't rain. A bit windy. It's quite cloudy. I'm just gonna go get something to eat now and uh, try and get down from here. But uh, yeah, I was um, with 135 kilos that I am. Uh, we'll see. I'm just gonna tie more stuff in, make sure it's hurricane proof. So on the, on the corners over there, as you, I've tied it down with uh, metal ties. So, everything's tied down, but anyway, alright guys, that's it from me for now. My grill, this still works, it's been in the container for four years, and that's uh, still going, so it's good. Now to get down. As I'm walking, I'm putting more holes in the roof because it's so rusted. <laughs> that puppy, she's a, you know she's, it's like a spring. Woo! Anyway, bye for now guys. Hey guys, just uh, been to the beach, had a bit of a swim, but uh, now I'm back over at home. This is what I'm doing. So I'm trying to fix this handle. So that's come out. And um, it's supposed to hook onto here somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to basically make up something. This is what I've started with. So I'm going to just bend this and manipulate this piece of wire to be able to hook on there to be able to open the door. Um, hopefully I get this done by today. Should do. Uh, I think I've something to make it work. But yeah, this is what we do over here. In Tonga, and there you what? I have to improvise because there's no parts for anything over here. And uh, unless we go to Tonga, and then it's still probably not any parts. So uh, that's what I'm dealing with today. Fixing this because I, I hate opening the door from the inside uh, for my wife to get in. So it's a pain just trying to reach over and that. Uh, handbrake is always in my in the side of my stomach or side of my body when I lean over so it's just trying to make things easier anyway that's what I'm working on on today all right guys have a good one cheers bye so this morning um, I've just come down to town and just bought some buns for for breakfast and some butter but um, uh, while I was up here I was organizing a drill from Tonga to be able to uh, get someone to send it on the boat. So I got a hold of Janice and BA, so they're gonna 
I just send them some money so they can grab a drill and send it over on the boat. Um, and not only that, uh, the wire that was rusted that was sent from Jones Industries. Uh, so that also, uh, I'm gonna ask Janice to be able to uh, uh, follow up with that because the lady at the wharf that works at the wharf that works for the boat, she said they didn't uh, swap it over. So I'm waiting for them to swap it over and hopefully uh, they do today so it can come on the boat this afternoon. Um, this afternoon at 3 o'clock is uh, leaving uh, Tonga. So that's uh, what I'm doing today. Um, well, that's what I've done this morning. And now going home to have some breakfast. And uh, the wifey was going to cook up some eggs and bits and pieces. So, yeah, uh, that's... And we definitely need that drill for, for that roof. Started to get a little bit windy last night. So we had a bit of rattle here and there, so need to uh, get that sorted ASAP and uh, yeah that's what's happening so far alright guys uh, take it easy I'm going to get back down there to see the wife and uh, have some breakfast very important for me <laughs> alright bye for now alright guys this is what our oil looks like after 5 years no oil change for five years in the Pacific. It's pretty dark, but these oil is always dark. But it's actually, I'm not too worried about that. I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. I thought it was going to be clumpy and lumpy or all sorts of stuff, but yeah, that's all right. It works. Okay, cool. Um, let's do. All right, guys. See ya. Bye. All right, guys. This is what our oil looks like after five years. No oil change for five years in the Pacific. It's pretty dark, but these oil was always dark. But actually, I'm not too worried about that. I thought it was going to be... Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. I thought it was going to be clumpy and lumpy or all sorts of stuff, but yeah, that's all right. It works. Okay, cool. Um, let's do. All right, guys. See ya. Bye. Hey guys, just going to show you what I've done with the back of the vehicle. Because uh, the sway bar, there's a bush that um, actually uh, tightens it up. So, this is a crack up. See that piece of material there? So, what I've done because the. See the bush on the other side? So, you see there. See that one that's attached? And this one, there is nothing. So, I've just uh, tied that on there. So, it stops knocking. And, um, I'll leave it like that for now. But it works until I can get the part. Hopefully I can get the part. Yeah. And when I can get the part, for that but um that's what happens just uh think of i'll probably end up uh, roping it or tying it up properly but uh that's for the time being all right guys just a quick uh, update with uh what we have to do over here to uh, uh keep going uh just uh, find simple things 
and see what works. Um, yeah. So I just did a service on this car, tied up all the, the front end, the, the, the lights and everything, and rewired everything. But um, yeah, that's all sorted. And all my grill and that's all uh, nice and tight on there. And the, the lights, they were sort of like hanging off a little bit. But um, yeah. So nothing's shaking anymore. Everything's tied up. So I had to wire that up, tie it with wire, screws, drill holes, retie it. Because all the, the plastic parts are deteriorating um, in this weather over here. Everything just deteriorates. Anything with rubber uh, and also metal just rusts here. That's just sitting there now. So, and only one of these, I got one going. The other one was a wiring issue. So I had, I took that off. But yeah. All right, guys. Now, take it easy. Have a blessed week. Blessed day. Bye.